So if you're anything like me and you constantly have a bunch of ideas and tasks and to-dos and different deadlines that you have to meet, both on a personal and business standpoint, and you struggle to keep them organized or maybe have a good visual as to what comes next and what to do next, then Craft Docs could be the application that you've been waiting for because it's been the perfect solution for my scenario. Craft Docs is designed for people who want clarity without compromise. It helps you create and capture ideas, plan projects, manage your week, and publish beautifully designed documents all in one place. So this isn't just another note-taking application, it's your entire productivity system built for Apple users who are all about design, speed, focus, and just like to have something visually nice to look at at all times. And it just recently got its biggest update of all time, bringing that iOS 26 liquid glass redesign on device, foundation models, and all across all your smarter task tools. Craft just became even smarter and more powerful, so let me tell you all about it. I'm actually surprised as to how long it took me to discover Craft Docs as a solution for my everyday needs because it actually won Apple's 2021 app of the year and for good reason. It's like if Apple Notes and Notion fully teamed up, but it got faster, cleaner, and built entirely for the Apple ecosystem. And especially as somebody who uses their iPad as their main computer, this was exactly what I needed. You can capture your ideas in daily notes, manage to-dos and projects with tasks, organize research into neat collections, brainstorm visually using whiteboards, and collaborate or publish your work instantly, all from one single place. And because it's built for iPhone, iPad, and Mac, and even the Vision Pro, Craft feels completely native across the devices that you use, especially with that liquid glass redesign. And as I mentioned, the first thing that you're going to notice when diving into Craft Docs is going to be the update to the new liquid glass design across the entire ecosystem. Apple's iOS 26 introduced a lighter, brighter, more fluid visual direction, and Craft has fully embraced that, so it makes it feel all fully uniform and part of the Apple ecosystem. The interface now feels softer and more inviting, with the glass used thoughtfully to add clarity and focus, and on the iPhone, the new plus button lives right in the bottom bar, making it effortless to start something brand new. And then on iPad, Craft takes full advantage of iPadOS's productivity power, especially the new windowing mode and the multitasking, and it makes it feel a lot more natural, especially with the touch interactions, since it still has that touch-first interface, but still works magically with the Magic Keyboard. And then the beauty of the Apple ecosystem has always been continuity and how everything stretches across all the different pieces of hardware and stays in one form. And that has been fully adopted by Craft and it's part of Craft's DNA, and this update refines that even further iOS 26 gave the craft team a chance to make the app feel completely unified across all the platforms, whether you're writing on your Mac, sketching ideas on your iPad, or capturing thoughts on your iPhone, everything syncs instantly and feels very consistent. And of course, this update wouldn't be complete with some sort of Apple intelligence or some sort of high-level intelligence features being added behind the scenes. So Craft Assistant now runs on Apple's new foundation models, the same on-device AI framework powering Apple intelligence, which is great to see. That means your data stays completely private, your suggestions happen instantly, and even when you're offline, Craft's AI tools still work, which is something that I welcome. Give me an AI tool that actually works for me instead of being just a simple chatbot on the side. The foundation models deliver sharper writing assistance, smarter summaries, and noticeably better results in multiple language, especially the new ones with Japanese and Korean. And then of course, beyond all the visuals and all the AI, there's a ton of practical upgrades as well. So Collections now supports new field types like currency, email, and phone, Perfect for tracking budgets, clients, or detailed projects. So again, this could be used in a business environment, but as well as a personal environment, which is how I use it. The tasks have been completely reworked with filters for the today, upcoming, and all tasks, giving you a clear view of everything on your plate. So again, it makes it much easier to manage your entire to-do list and check them off as you go along. And then you have the new tag feature to help you organize everything even further, which helps you browse and organize your content faster no matter how big the workspace gets. To go along with all this, Craft is also refreshing how it presents itself to the world. The brand new marketing site launches September 15th, introducing a softer visual language that highlights creativity and individuality. So I say this again, if you have not used Craft Docs before, I highly recommend giving it a chance because it's really helped me kind of manage my life that much better and that much easier when I did finally kind of dive fully in to the Craft ecosystem. And again, it goes across the entire Apple ecosystem, across all your different levels of hardware, even like I said earlier, the Vision Pro. So again, if you've been waiting for an app that looks as polished, that fits the Apple aesthetic, that fits the iOS 26 look at glass aesthetic and gives you everything that you would want, out of a task management application, I highly recommend giving Craft Docs a try. It'll be the first link in the description below. And for our 9 to 5 Mac viewers, you do get a 50% lifetime discount. So now is a good time as ever to give it a go. Craft Docs does an incredible job of combining intelligence, design, performance into one seamless experience that actually helps you get the things that you want done and get it done in a timely manner and in a quality manner. 
So big shout out to Craft Talk for partnering up with 9to5Mac on this video. All their information will be linked down in the description below for you guys to check out. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, check out one of these videos right here. Until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace, everyone.